Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at this computer. Um, we think that uh, the power supply might be dead. We've tried, you know, plugging in different outlets, uh, looked at the motherboard, all the power connectors are plugged in, and we're still getting no power to the motherboard. Um, you know, let's go ahead and open this uh, computer up and I'm going to show you a good way to test if the power supply is at fault or maybe the motherboard uh, is the issue. So let's open up this computer and let's get right to it. Okay, now that you have the case off of this uh, computer, you want to unplug the 24 pin power connector. And you can see we have a green and a black wire right next to one another. What we want to do is take any kind of wire uh, and insert it here and into that green one. So this this black one here and the green one right next to it, you want to plug those both in. And what that does is it activates the power for the power supply. So the fan should immediately turn on. If it does not turn on, then we pretty much know the power supply is dead. Um, and then we can replace this uh, power supply and we know it's not the actual motherboard. So let's go ahead and plug this. Uh, so I'm using this wire here and I just stripped each end and we're gonna try to put it in here and see if it spins. Okay, we have the wires in the right spot um, and the fan is not spinning. So we know it's most likely the power supply at this point. So uh, you can also use a paper clip, but like I said, it, you wanna count three over and put a paper clip in that jack and then in that hole and then it should so it's ba you're basically connecting that green to that black one right there and you're telling the power supply to turn on and it's not turning on when we put our wire in but like i said you can also use a paper clip if you don't have a wire paper clip might be better so let's go ahead and take this power supply out and put in our new power supply over here okay so i'm going to show you how this actually works so we have a newer power supply here we have the power on the switch on we have our 24 uh, pin connector here. And what we're gonna do is, since this does not have a green or black wire, we're still gonna count three over, and it's gonna be the two right here. So let's connect those together and see if we get the fan to kick on on the power supply. You can see the fan is now spinning. Now the moment I disconnect, you can see the fan starts to slow down and turn off. So now the power supply is off. So we know this power supply is good, and maybe the one in this computer is bad. So let's go ahead and Switch up the power supply and see if we can get this computer to boot back up. All right, we have the old power supply taken out. We have the new EVGA 600 watt, uh, I'm sorry, 500 watt put in. We have all of our cable ran. We have the power and the power uh, connected to the motherboard. We have our hard drives hooked up. So let's go ahead and flip the switch and moment of truth here. Well, so far we got a good sign. There's light on the video card now, which it was before. So let's power the computer on now. And look at that. The computer is now powering up. So we know for sure it was definitely a dead power supply. And now the computer is booting up and now we can return this to the client and let them know it was only a $50 uh, power supply. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope this video was helpful.